Hello Kings County. My name is Dan Stovall and I'm the Kings County Regional Emergency Management Coordinator with the Kings County Regional Emergency Management Organization. I'm actually a resident of Kings County. I live in Wolfville, Nova Scotia and have been there since about 2013, having spent 32 years in the Navy but uh, retired to this beautiful area we call Kings County. As the Regional Emergency Management Coordinator for Kings County and our organization, it came about into being in April of 2018. Up until then, all of the municipalities of Kings County used to do emergency management on their own and each unit was responsible for having an emergency management plan. Now as a regional emergency management organization, we have one regional emergency management plan for all of Kings County, as well as all of the emergency management support plans for issues and hazards such as hurricanes, which we know all too well with the tropical storm Fiona, and prior to that Dorian in 2019, as well as winter storms, wildfires, and other emergencies such as floods and evacuations. So all of that information is available to you as residents of here in Kings County on our website, kingsremo.ca. Our organization is responsible for overseeing emergency preparedness, training, and exercises across all of Kings County and being there to support all of the emergency first responders who are actually out in the field. When you think about the police, fire, and also the EHS services, 95% of the calls that they go on, they're handled by themselves. When resources get beyond their scope of ability to respond to, Kings Remo can come into play and provide those additional resources such as sandbags for flood conditions or anything else or personnel that they might need to support priority number one, safety of life in Kings County. Our Regional Emergency Management Organization oversees and also has an Emergency Coordination Centre which the primary facility is in Council Chambers at Municipality of the County of Kings in Colebrook and we have actually since our inception of being an organization activated twice for both post-tropical storm Dorian in September 2019 and also for post-tropical storm Fiona most recently in September of 2022. And there we have staff who actually are able to support all of the first responders as they respond to all the emergencies across Kings County. Those emergencies, and people may have heard it before, it's important to understand to be 72 hours prepared. For you as an individual at home, having that 72 hour or more preparedness allows the first responders to carry on with those emergencies and safety of life issues as you probably hunker down and stay safe at home. We do have an assortment of approximately 25 comfort centers located across Kings County and once again I'll draw you into our kingsremo.ca website because that provides all the information for our comfort centers. And those comfort centers may be activated by community volunteers to support residents. Understand within the first 24 to 72 hours of emergencies they may not be activated because the priority message to residents if you look at Fiona and more so Dorian for here in Kings County we're asking residents to stay off the roads because of the hazards of downed power lines, could be tree lines down, allow the first responders and emergency responders to clear up the roads, and then those comfort centers would be activated to support your arrival. The key principles that we always generate across all of Kings County, we have a very active community outreach program. Those key principles that we really enforce across Kings County are know the risks, make a plan, and get a kit and all of those are reinforced through our community outreach program. At any time you can contact myself as the Regional Emergency Management Coordinator and I've been providing presentations across Kings County and discussion sessions from as far as Scotts Bay to Avonport to Morden to East Dalhousie and everywhere in between. And in fact this evening I'm actually going to the Fire Services Advisory Committee provide an overview of the programs that Kings Remo offers. We also have some programs when you consider more and more of our residents are living at home longer alone. We have some wonderful special care facilities, long-term care facilities. Those facilities under their rules and regulations have to have plans in place to support their clients. But more people are living at home longer alone and so what we've actually instituted here in Kings County is a vulnerable persons registry. And I will proudly say that it's the first of its kind in Nova Scotia. And that program allows us to respond and provide support to those residents during a large-scale emergency, such as an evacuation. Our database will allow me to generate reports to all of the first responders across Kings County, 
so they're more aware of people who may be in a vulnerable issue, whether it's mobility, sight, hearing, or any other issue that that person may have if they're on their own and don't have 24 and 7 care. Other programs King's Remo is really big on and making sure one of the questions I get asked most about is how to stay informed. Well we have an emergency email notification system. It's a subscription based because I like other organizations are not allowed to spam you but if you send me an email and our email address once again is on the kingsremo.ca website so that information is about sending in an email to me such that I can put you on the system. All emergency notifications go to subscribers blind carbon copy, meaning all you'll see is an email addressed to myself and not to the 3,000 plus subscribers we have, so there's no issue of your personal email information being shared with others. So that is a very good, in fact, we just used it this morning. I sent out an email because there's a special weather statement in effect issued by Environment Canada for some freezing precipitation, both freezing rain and ice pellets that is due to arrive tomorrow. If you sign up today, those notices will come to you. You'll first get a confirmation email back that your information is being added to the emergency email notification system database. And within that confirmation email, I do highlight both our website, kingsremo.ca, as well as the fact that for community awareness, for those who are on social media, Kings Remo has Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts and having that information available we're rapidly growing with our subscription and followers uh, social media it's an awareness tool that is available to you and then emails will go out the emails will not be forever coming because we've had students from Arcadia sign up and they all of a sudden move out west and not, not interested so at the bottom of my signature block is an unsubscribe link that if it's information that you don't feel is useful but it's everything that I do is to make sure we're more aware across Kings County about the emergencies they may come up and involve us. All of our comfort centers in Kings County are actually staffed by community volunteers. I know there's a misconception out there that automatically people may think that all fire departments are comfort centers. Well, they're not because there may not be a group of community volunteers to come together. The list of comfort centers on our kingsremo.ca website outlines all of the facilities and they range from little community halls such as the Lloyd Memorial Center in Kingsport to actually some fire halls across Kings County as well. And the supporting factor to have become a comfort center and run by those community volunteers is they have a generator and to have that generator to provide that backup power. Now understand comfort centers are not overnight shelters. They are a facility by which after that first 24 to 72 hours when it's safe for people to travel on roads and announcements are made about comfort centers opening up, they are facilities by which you can drop by, charge your electronic devices because we're all slave to our information technology and our phones and also possibly get information. I can now reach out to all 25 comfort centers and send a consistent message. So that consistent message could be all the way out from Scotts Bay all the way out to East Dalhousie about what the current situation is and those comfort center volunteers will be able to provide you that information. You may also be offered of course a warm drink, a place to get warm and all of that but they're not overnight shelters. If there was a wide-scale emergency in Kings County that necessitated the emergency evacuation of people the organization that would be brought to bear to support us as well as across Nova Scotia and across Canada would be the Canadian Red Cross and six of our comfort centers or the larger facilities such as the Louis Millet Center are pre-designated as emergency shelters and those shelters would be fully staffed by Red Cross not by just the community volunteers in that area so the Red Cross play an important part and what we've done is succeeded here I think in Kings Remo and I'm not saying it's any worse anywhere else but we've been able to succeed with the partnership we've developed with all of the emergency responding agencies the police services, Nova Scotia Health, Red Cross and also transportation. If you consider transportation a key issue for a lot of people, we actually developed an agreement with King's Transit. Uh, prior to the establishment of King's Remo, a lot of the long-term care facilities had agreements in place with King's Transit to look at transporting their clients. Well now we actually have a memorandum of understanding and agreement with King's Transit and King's Remo because the word evacuation is one of those words that generates an activity by King's Remo as an organization and we've actually used that agreement three times since our coming together as an organization to provide emergency transportation support. There was a propane leak in the minus at the Walmart a number of years ago and there were some residents that were being evacuated. And more recently there was uh, some flood issues at a Grandview Manor residence 
out in the Berwick area that we had to bring in emergency transportation to support those clients who were being displaced. So having that agreement in place is not an agreement with Dan Stovall, but it's an agreement with Kings Remo and that organization. And each one of our, I will say about having written agreements, each one of our comfort centers has a written agreement with Kings Remo. Those Remo agreements talk about how the process of activation, they can activate any time they'd like. We strongly recommend not for the first 24 to 72 hours because we have to allow emergency responders to respond to emergencies. If they activate, my responsibility is to inform both Nova Scotia EMO as well as Nova Scotia 211. For those who aren't aware, we're all residents of Kings County, but if you're on vacation in Cape Breton and a disaster strikes, both the Nova Scotia EMO and Nova Scotia 211 websites will highlight all the comfort centers across the province. So you may be outside of Kings County, but you can actually access the information to see where you can go to charge your electronic device or get some information should there be a disaster outside of Kings County as well. So all of that reporting is required once we know that they're opening up. At the height of Dorian, more so of an impact for Kings County in September 2019, we actually opened 16 comfort centers a day. And understand, although there's names associated with those comfort centers, Port Williams Community Hall, it is a comfort center for use by all of Kings County residents. If there was a requirement to activate the emergency transportation services with Kings Transit to bring residents from Berwick to some other comfort center because of a disaster in that area, more people are welcome across Kings County at any comfort center they may come upon if they, if they are open. And the opening of those, as I mentioned, are posted, announced via social media across all the municipal units, Kings Remo social media, Posted to the website. If we have spontaneous volunteers, the volunteers would be coordinated. One of the things that Kings Remo is working on right now is with the Red Cross to looking up setting up a registration for volunteers. Understand that each and every one of us, no matter your age or makeup in this population we have of Kings County, we are all responsible for emergency preparedness. And those three key principles are something that are stressed over and over again of know the risk, make a plan, get a kit. None of our programs that we have in place in Kings County actually replace the requirement in an emergency to call 911. That is still an inherent responsibility for all of us if there's an emergency. And also there is the onus is on each and every one of us to put together an emergency plan. And understand the plan you have in place for your current family makeup, you have to annually review your plan and look at actually practicing your plan because you all of a sudden may become empty nesters or other situations that change in your plan is to understand where you're going to go in emergency, what are you going to do if there's a fire, what are you going to do if there's a flood. As a proud member of one of the fire departments within Kings County, I will say I've learned a lot more now in responding to emergencies and sadly seeing families displaced at two or three in the morning because of house fires who have not been prepared. Every Canadian, not just residents of Nova Scotia, not just here in Kings County, understands the concepts behind emergency preparedness, but actually very few people actually think about putting all of these things together to be emergency prepared should something impact you, unless of course you have been impacted. If you are at all interested in having a community event with a presentation on emergency preparedness and what it means to you, please don't hesitate to contact me. I've provided these presentations not just at community halls, but also organizations and various groups as well as a community of just three homes coming together and being able to provide and present the presentation up on a wall space or through a TV to be able to increase that awareness. If you would like to know more about what Kings Remo is all about, and if you are connected with a computer or your phone, please don't hesitate to go to kingsremo.ca and bookmark that website for all your emergency preparedness needs and information. Again, my name is Dan Stovall. I'm the Regional Emergency Management Coordinator for Kings County. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and Kings Remo looks forward to working with each one of you to make sure we have a better prepared Kings County for any emergencies that may come forward.